Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Today's video is all about how you're gonna stay on track over the Christmas period. So with Christmas coming up, the festive season begins. Everybody likes the food, everybody likes to lounge around a bit. Um, we're sort of, uh, the, today's video I just wanted to do how to sort of combat it a bit. It's a little bit different if you're doing some sort of prep, but in just general life, you're gonna wanna have a good time, you're not gonna wanna track food, you're just gonna wanna enjoy it. And the most important thing over Christmas break to remember to, I'd say, stay consistent with All right, so resistance training. Sherelle is training today with me. Um, so this is one of the forms of things that you need to keep keep up with. Just just keep it consistent. What are we training? I plan. Oh, you wrote the plan? <laughs> Always write a plan. Always write a plan. All right. And you, Beyblades. You think I'm joking, don't you? I'm going to go buy a dome and it's on. Yeah. <laughs> Insert future reference. <laughs> Winner takes all. Yep, that's that's the deal. Winner takes all. Of course, it's pink slip, so if you lose, I get to take that. This. Yep. And if you win, I give you my Beyblade and the dome. Okay. And also, if you lose, you have to do 100 push ups. Okay. Done. Deal. Hey, up with Yeah, three, two, two one. one. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Right, I hand it over. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> I tell you what, 100 push-ups, and you can and you can keep the whole lot done. You shouldn't play with a vintage '90s kid. <laughs> when will you learn? That is not a push-up, young man. <laughs> and I'm gonna say I won. <laughs> session just there. Now the second option is obviously the most hated option for some or for me. Cardio. You can do, oh Dolores, you can do some of these things. Anyway. So, <laughs> some of these things to combat extra food. Get your breath. No. Thank you very much. For the festive season, compact all the Christmas pudding. Josh and I highly what? recommend four minutes of high intensity training. <coughs> Once is enough. <laughs> Once is enough. Go first. In a partner, go first. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk about the not so good option. Being cutting your food down. Alright, no, I'm gonna take you through this. We're gonna look at how you can compensate those extra calories 
over the space of a week or two. Check that here. Okay, so what we've got here, guys, is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the Sunday. 2,000 calories per day, spread along, yeah, like I said, every day. Excuse the hammer, don't forget to smile. Uh, and minus in 200 calories per day, so of every single day, just total. Which has you at a total of 1,200 calories that you've saved through the week. Now, if we add that up, you've got the day of 2,000 calories plus the 1,200 that you've saved through the week. Put that together, you get 3,200 calories for Christmas with the big fella just here. Santa Claus. Stunning young man, isn't he? I oh, know, I can't really draw, I suck. <laughs> So that was just a little bit of a brief description of what you can do throughout this week. So you can drop the 200 calories like I just showed and then add it onto your Christmas day so that you're staying on track. Last method I'll share with you is do a bit of fasting. So you'll have, say you won't eat for the morning, you'll, you'll skip breakfast, which I, I, don't, I don't like doing, I feel shit. Um, and you'll basically just start from lunchtime, so that way you've got more calories through at the end of the day, because I'm a nighttime eater, and that's what I tend to do a little bit too, so. All the other option is just enjoy it. Hit mode, stuff it mode, um, and enjoy the day and get straight back on track of it tomorrow. Uh, that's pretty it, guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe, be a better you. Thanks for watching.